Senator Edward Kennedy. When I entered this campaign, I knew that the issue of Chappaquiddick would be raised. I talked with my wife Joan and our children because I knew we would face relentless and painful personal scrutiny. But I come from a family that believes deeply in this country. They share my view that in 1980, I could not stand silent on the sidelines in the face of national crisis and human tragedy. Inflation, unemployment, elderly people who can no longer pay for their heat or rent, families who can no longer afford to buy a home. This has been a difficult and personal campaign. I believe that I'll be judged fairly. But in any case, this is a fight that must be made. I can understand why President Carter does not want the campaign to focus on the real issues, on the economy, energy, and his mistakes in foreign policy, including his recent betrayal of Israel at the United Nations. These are the issues that matter. The central question of 1980 is not what happened at Chappaquiddick 11 years ago, but whether we as a country will suffer an economic collapse in the years ahead. The key to whether this country prospers and perhaps even survives is what a president does as president. What he proposes and decides can determine the condition of your lives and even whether your children will be sent to war. We have learned at fearful cost that what the nation needs in the White House is not platitudes, but a president. Self-righteousness is no substitute for effectiveness in the presidency. We must elect a president who can make the hard decisions and who can mobilize the best minds and talent in the nation to deal with our national crisis. We must reestablish a foreign policy that is coherent and consistent. We must be resolute in resisting Soviet aggression. We must be persistent in restraining the nuclear arms race. We must regain the confidence of our allies and the respect of our adversaries. I know I can lead America in that direction. And I know we can reverse the fearsome spiral of inflation. Alone among the candidates, I have proposed a tough and honest program of controls to stop inflation now. Incredibly, Mr. Carter's latest economic policy will only make the problem worse. It will actually add one whole point to our 20% inflation because of the Carter 10 cent tax on every gallon of gasoline. How can anyone think that the way to reduce inflation is to raise prices? And Mr. Carter's policy will also hurt our cities, hard pressed workers, and middle income families by cutting the federal budget in all the wrong places. Why should the oil companies continue to receive a $5 billion subsidy while your children are to be deprived of school lunches? On all the critical issues, I have said specifically what I will do as president. My program is not easy, but these are difficult times. We cannot answer our economic distress with empty cliches. We cannot afford a foreign policy of surprises and embarrassment. Soon you will give your answer at the ballot box. You are not just choosing a candidate. You are choosing a future for yourselves and for your children. I ask you to decide on the basis of the real issues. I ask for your help and support. I ask you to vote for a president who can get the job done and who can make America work for you in the decade of the 1980s. There is a way for you to fight back against 20% inflation and a foreign policy out of control. Contribute what you can to the Kennedy campaign, Box 1980, Washington, D.C. Kennedy, Box 1980, Washington, 